Our sport, especially from the 100 meter side, we don't communicate. We feel like we got to be like tougher than tough. I talked to Bracey. I don't know if the story is true or not, mm -hmm. where y'all communicated about yep. contracts, right? Mm -hmm. And you told him exactly what happened with Nike and as you was moving on to your next contract and you gave him game. Mm -hmm. And that game helped him get a better contract than he was ever going to get. We never had that kind of conversation in sport. Track and field don't eat once we get done with this sport. We don't got no union or none of that. When we get done, gone with this sport, most of us get left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we we got all these medals and stuff, but these medals don't mean nothing. We going back home to a shack or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can we eat for life? Like, that's what I feel like a lot of people at the top just eat while we are slave in, to this sport. And us athletes is the sport. And to us athletes understand that we are the sport and the people at the top really can't make no money without us. That's when the sports will grow. What is it, my beautiful people? It is Kimbler. Listen, what Frank Curley has said, I couldn't say it any better. He has explained it, explained it, explained it perfectly. Listen, my people, this is where more people have understood. None of them, at least, yeah, them not making the money. They're not making no real money, people. And for one, reason only the sport is very mean to them at least you see the people at the top and who run the sport them not really business but they at least if i never have sponsors in enough of them at least i not make the money even the one them where i win the gold medal let me know if i just to meet money them not make the money them money they can't buy the house people you understand me give thanks for the sponsors them that's how when them get a little chance to get them sponsor thing yeah, man, me happy for see it because I eat a really, I do the things them. You understand me? Eat a make them, can make the money them. Because most of them meets, uh, by the time you go so boom and make up and spend that done. You make a 10,000 US, you go so boom, 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 boom and make up and spend it, that done. You buy your first car, that done. You understand me? Yeah, you can't live a dream life for the money where them pay per meet. Can't live a dream life. So big up for sponsors. I'm glad for know you have some athletes in the track and field community who actually care about other athletes, for educate other athletes and how to even make deals. You know, so you can get as much money from these sponsors because the sponsors, them, them know, say the athletes, them are really to educate to certain things. So them know, say one tree, them can use mind game and finish them the cheapest way. Forget them for do them deeds. So good when you have athletes like Phil Curl, when could I tell them, you know? Some other at least, so this, this is where you need to do it, so you can do it, and this is where you can get. You understand me? Yeah, man. So, I love to see this, and you know, my kind of I get inspired for start a program where I educate at least them. More or less, I do some one on one type of thing, and we have some guests where we really are, share some knowledge as well. And you know, we educate the thing and evolve the sport because the more evolve the at least them mentally. You know, and more the sport are going to evolve because at least them are going to realize that them have the power, them have the final say. If everybody work together, if one man do it, he might get taken down. But if every athlete combine together, a majority at least, that's going to create the change. One or two athletes now get to do it because they're going to silence them easy. You understand me? But when majority come together now, it's hard because if it stop majority, then you never have a sport. You understand me? So you got the only choice is you have to work with it or there's no sport. And if there's no sport, there's no money. You understand me? So anyways, I don't talk with people. Big up Fred Curley and big up I really at least them and much love. Enough love to my people and my love would thank you for your precious, precious time. Big up on yourself.